Hi, my name is Dave. Today I'd like to show you a uh, Unitron Satellite Telescope and another Mystery Scope. Uh, what is it exactly? It looks a lot like a Unitron Satellite Scope, but who knows? Let's have a closer look at this thing. First of all, I think you can see that it works exactly right, exactly the way uh, any Unitron Satellite Scope will work. It goes up and down like so. Clasp device here. Bring this off. Goes right on here with that clasp. It's got uh, it's got setting circles, and it's got the it's got levels. And you can see that uh, in every respect, it seems to be quite similar. There are a couple of distinctive differences. Those of you who are experts in unitrons, or even those of you who are just slightly familiar with unitrons, will see right away there's a couple of dead giveaways that something's not quite right here. Look at the size of this focusing knob. And uh, it works, everything is fine, but the focusing knob should be much bigger. And there should only be one. On the Unitron Satellite Telescope, there's only one. Here's a dead giveaway. There's no, it doesn't say unitron anywhere on this thing. You can't find anything here on here that says Unitron. Um, the setting circles seem to be of a mm, slightly inferior quality, although they're still there. Uh, and generally speaking, it doesn't quite have all the characteristics of a Unitron satellite telescope. Now that you can see things from a different perspective, I think you'll agree that the jig is up on this deal. This is the real, honest goodness, Unitron Satellite Telescope. This is my replica. I made this in my shop using mostly parts that I had laying around. Didn't have to buy too much extra stuff, but I, I manufactured the whole thing, except for, of course, the optics and some of the other little bits and pieces. But um, this is meant to be a semi-replica. It's not a full, perfect replica. But you can tell I got the proportion just right. And I tried to duplicate most of the features of the telescope in the important ways. A um, couple of things. This thing, <laughs> that was hard to do. Coming up with an eyepiece of this size, I had to use a military surplus eyepiece. A uh, great big honking piece of glass there. The eye relief on this thing is way out here, so you have to hold your eye out here to, to see anything, but it, it does actually work. Uh, and it's a uh, uh, 80 millimeter objective. I don't know where I got that. And uh, a bunch of, and a few other parts I had to order, but uh, mostly stuff that I just made in my shop for fun. My semi-replica is meant to be 150% that is 50% bigger than this, which of course means it's considerably more massive. This thing weighs a ton! <laughs> I can promise you it's made out of aluminum. This isn't steel or anything. It's still, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> so it's a pretty heavy uh, chunk of stuff. These are heavy little beasts right here, these little 50 millimeter unitrons. That's heavy for a little tiny scope like that. Uh, so this is really a monster. Uh, and you can see by, by golly, there, I mean, in a photograph, you might easily be confused to think one was the other. Even an expert might temporarily, for a few moments, hesitate, look at it twice. That's, that's what I was hoping for, really. I'm not trying to really fool anybody, but by the same token, it should be kind of close. It's more of an homage. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at my semi-replica Unitron Satellite Telescope. Thank you very much for watching.